This is Tim Pamplin with Local 4 News Detroit uh, in Sanford where the uh, dam collapses, of course, flooding in a large area of mid-Michigan. I'm outside the, uh, this is a Dollar General store. You can see the, the power of the water just ripping the metal siding off this building as I make my way over here. Beyond these uh, bushes you see the roof of a house. No idea where the rest of the house is, but that's where the roof ended up as I make my way along the back here. Now the river is actually over there. This is where the water's trying to get to as I make my way down here now. Through the, uh, through the slush and silt, there's a, a camper caravan. A local just told me that that doesn't belong there. That was further in town. You see over there in the, in the bushes there. As I make my way across here, we'll take a look inside the Dollar General here what it looks like inside. Absolute devastation. We're going to stay on the scene of updates throughout the day on Local 4 News and at clickondetroit.com. So you all can get some perspective on just how high these water levels are. This right here is a stop sign along what is normally a street. This is the roof over a parking lot and as you can see it's only about a foot above the water just totally inundating downtown with these floodwaters along the Titabawassee River. And this is M20 Highway in Midland, Michigan, totally shut down due to the flooding. This is just unreal. There's a woman back there saying, be careful. It's just a balance beam, folks. It's a balance beam. I did this in elementary school. I hope I still got it now. If I don't, I'll be in the water. Just to kind of show you from the middle here. Wow. So this is right behind the courthouse in downtown Midland and you can see these rushing waters as the water levels continue to rise here along the Titabawassee River. Two dams upstream have broken and been breached and so it has just completely flooded this entire region people have had to evacuate i swear the water is actually getting faster now this is crazy folks this is the wildest flooding i have ever seen in my life just look at this the titabawassee river has completely spilled over its riverbanks normally this entire area right here is a park like there's a parking lot that's why there's those poles there that have lights for the parking lot and this here is on the edge of the water and that's the river now the river is all of this downtown area too look at this Folks, the governor was not exaggerating when she said that Midland could be under nine feet of water by Wednesday morning. Take a look at this. This right here is a street. This is Rod Street. You can see over there a sign that is already up probably five or six feet with water. 
flowing through here. The Titibawassee River, which normally is way over past that tree line back there, has completely overtaken Midland, Michigan. And this entire section of downtown is just totally flooded. Multiple streets in downtown Midland now end like this, right into the river, which has spilled over several blocks and has totally inundated the city.